Hello, welcome on this uh, training, on this lecture, on the uh, part where we start to speak about WEM. So WEM is a software that, you know, not a lot of people know actually, but uh, uh, each time I do a demonstration uh, or a pack with this product, each time, you know, my customers say, wow, wow, we need it, okay, because uh, we have too many G group policies. We want to have a way that we be sure that uh, our, our Xen app and Xen desktop are working you know, more in, a, in, in the best uh, performance and respond time. Uh, and really, you want, you want, you want, and, and the goal of WEM is really helping and, and maintaining the best possible logon performance okay, for user. And this is what is doing WEM. Okay? So, WEM is really an extra solution. It's not mandatory, but uh, it's a big recommendation to install WEM in your company. So, what is WEM? Uh, like I say each time I'm talking about WEM, I say that it's something intelligent. Okay, why? Because because WEM will use uh, an intelligent resource management and profile management technology. And and what is your goal, of course, when you install XenApp and Xen Desktop? What is your goal? The goal that you need, and everybody needs the same goal, is to uh, have the best performance on your XenApp and Xen Desktop. And you want that the logon uh, process is very fast. And of course, what do you need? Like everybody, you need that your application and the response time for your application is really uh, very fast. So, so it's it's really a product that you can install uh, with your Citrix XenApp Xen Desktop deployment. And remember that it's a software-only solution. The other thing that really I encourage, uh, I, I really I recommend uh, all of you of using WAM is something fantastic is the resource management. So think about a world that you are, you have the way to provide the best experience for user. Wow, of course I want it. I want WAM. <laughs> and so WAM will monitors, monitor, sorry, and do a analyze user and application behavior in real time. Wow, wow, this is fantastic. And then he will adjust intelligently your RAM, CPU, and I.O. Wow, so this is amazing. So he's doing really a real-time monitoring and say, okay, okay, this user is using this application, that one, this application. So how can I make all this application working very fine, okay? Because maybe this application is using too many RAM or this one doesn't need it. So so really, I can adjust it. So if I have 50 user or 100 user, he will make decision. Wow, this is amazing. The other thing with very, very nice is the profile management, of course. Uh, if you uh, if you just uh, saw all my training on Xenapex and desktop, I'm talking about CPM, for example. Okay, but so so this is really what is doing WAM. Okay, he will do the configuration for you for Citrix Profile Manager. So so of course the Profile Manager the goal is to deliver the best possible logon performance. So WAM uh, replace of course. Uh, most of the group policy object, logon script and preference. Okay, this is something fantastic. And how you do that, uh, sorry, just let me go back here, sorry. So how you do that, you will deploy an agent on each VM or server. So you can deploy it on your Xen app, on your Xen desktop, on your MCS, PVS, okay? And the agent is really multi-threaded and apply change to user environment only when required. So that's really profile management. And you are sure that uh, that uh, user always have access with the desktop as soon as possible. So remember, it's first, he use intelligent resource management. Uh, like that, you have the best possible performance desktop logon and application response time. He's using a fantastic resource management. It's like IE, you know. So and you have the best best experience. He's doing monitoring in real time and see all the applications that are run by your user. So this is of course for Xen uh, sorry, Xen app. <laughs> and the profile management is to uh, to be sure that user have access with a desktop as soon as possible. This is this is really the goal of uh, of of WAM. It's all this, okay? So it, it's really helping you and helping 
uh, your IT uh, not all the time going on your server and saying, okay, what is the issue? What is the problem? Why this application is not fast? He will do it for you. Yeah, he will do it for you. So, so, so that's it. Okay. So it's so so important that you know. So all this is 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 really a, an explanation about uh, about what is doing WAM. Okay. So CPU, uh, a lot of a lot of uh, of usage here. So let's see here now after uh, a t technical component. Okay. So uh, like you can see here, I have my. Um, my management, okay. So it's a web admin console, okay. So this management here uh, will have access. Uh, so to, to to the port that you must open to the admin console is the port. Um, it must be yeah eight two eight four, okay. So eight two eight four is the port that you must open. And the agent, the agent was here. So the agent you you install it on your Xenapix and desktop. The agent, uh, the port eight two eight six. So, so here you have your console here, and and here you have your server. Okay, so you must ins you must create a VM and install WAM in a new server here, and of course uh, he will save everything on a SQL database here. So we have one, so it's okay, and he will create a, dab a da WAM database here. And after the synchronization between the the WAM will be done with a WAM local cache. Okay, so this is where all the information will come. So you can do a lot of things uh, with WAM. Okay, so uh, so remember that you have all this. Okay, so all this uh, information, all this uh, component is mandatory, of course. So when you install WAM on premise. You you will you will you will use your Active Directory, okay? So you will have to install your infrastructure services. Uh, it's the um, the server that you have uh, uh, at the bottom of the slide, and and you must you you will use SQL Server, okay? Of course, and after you will add physical and and uh, and virtual machine with with web agent, okay? When you install uh, uh, an agent on a physical computer, is to do something fantastic is the transformation. A transformation is that you're going to take a, a physical computer, maybe old computer, and you are going to do some magic, okay? You're going to turn them like fin client. Really, this is amazing, like fin client. But normally you install them on your um, on your VM, of course, on your VDA. You can also install it on the cloud, okay? So on the cloud, the the the, uh, the 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 infrastructure services is maintained by Citrix Cloud, okay? So you don't have to to install it. Of course, this is the different. So um, uh, let's go to to the next slide and and see the different version you have, okay? So like I told you, you have uh, we're going to use the four 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 point seven version, but you have all the next version, okay? So we'll use the four seven. Uh, you have the WAM for 1808, 1811, and 1903. Okay, it's the last uh, version. It's like Zenapp. Okay, so it's following the same version. Okay, so so that's 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 the different version you can have. So how is the installation the, the install step? Okay, that's where we will see how to install the, the 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 solution. Okay, so first you will have to install the server. So the name is Infrastructure Services. After you have to start database management utility, he's going to create database on your SQL server. And after you have to do some configuration about your infrastructure services, you will see that. And of course, configure the license server. After that, in step six, you will have to install the console. And after you will have to configure the configuration set. We'll see what is a configuration set. It's like a GPO, okay? It's the same thing. You will apply the configuration, but we don't use any GPO, of course. So we'll see that there is user and machine uh, configuration. And something that I recommend is to restore the default recommended setting. It's some of the best practice, and Citrix did a lot of jobs. So, so the best practice is to restore the default configuration setting where you have most of the setting that's the recommend recommendation that you really fits all the organization today. After remember something very important, it's a Windows software, so you will need group policies. So you will have to go on the folder agent and import your ADMX and ADML. And of course, to, to the agent must know 
uh, how to uh, connect to the infrastructure server. So you will have to go on the policies, admin template, classic admin, Citrix, WAM, agent host configuration, and, and, and type the IP of your server. And after you just have to install the agent. Uh, like this, the agent will be able to communicate with the server via the group policy information. And after you add the agent to the configuration set you created, but we will see all that, okay? So uh, let's jump to the lab and, 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 and install our first WAM server. Wow, 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 this will be fantastic. So welcome to WAM, WAM, I love it. I love it, okay? So really, this is something, if you want to be quiet, you don't want to manage all your server, install it and he will do all the work. And you can, in, you can even apply setting like like uh, like GPO, okay, creating map, map drive, creating registry entries, uh, really, it's fantastic. So so let's go and now uh, go to the next lecture, and we'll start to install the WAM. Bye bye.